good afternoon, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. So I have been reading over the last couple of days about this congressional hearing that took place in 1937. It's the transcripts. And it's really good because it's pretty much the Federal Reserve is asking for permission to be able to back the Federal Reserve notes with U.S. debt obligations. And it's not like they're asking for permission. They're asking for permission to extend the powers they already have to do it. And I guess for since 1932, they had had to ask permission in order to use this power to buy federal reserve or to buy us debt obligations to back the federal reserve notes up until this point it was just gold and eligible paper now as best i can tell eligible paper is some really trustworthy ious coming out of businesses and he kind of goes into this uh into this uh description of of eligible paper which I guess kind of makes sense. Um, And it's in that congressional hearing. And I'm going to leave a link to all this down in the description for you guys. But um, what I found quite interesting in it is that they are like, you know, pretty much scaring the heck out of out of Congress by saying, you know, it's just like, you know, we got all the gold and we got all the eligible paper that we feel is trustworthy, so to speak. And if you don't give us this power, the next deflation, we're not going to have any room. And then we're going to, you know, go into this deflationary spiral again. So we need this power in order to, in order to back the federal reserve and add elasticity, (laughs) I have trouble with that word to the system in order to, you know, expand the money supply when, you know, this deflationary, you know, system happens. Um, I found it quite interesting. It seems like it's the same story over and over again, no matter how much I go back in history that is kind of used little different scenarios. But what I found was funny is that this was only a temporary tool, right? This purchasing of us debt obligations. And now look at it. It's like just the common everyday thing that they do. Anyway, uneducated economist, talk to you later. Here, I'll give you a shot of the river before I go. A lot of boats out today. Yeah, we'll go look at the bridge too. All right, uneducated economist, talk to you later.